The Kakovka Dam breach in Ukraine has caused widespread flooding, jeopardizing crucial water supplies and escalating tensions between Russia and Ukraine. The Kakovka Dam on the Dnipro River was breached, leading to a blame game between Russia and Ukraine. The Ukrainian government warns of catastrophic consequences, including the impact on settlements and the Zaporizhia nuclear power plant. Alexander Prokutin, the governor of Ukraine's Kherson region, accuses Russian forces of blowing up the dam. Evacuations are underway, and the water levels in the area are becoming critical. The flooding not only affects the region but also complicates any Ukrainian plans for a counteroffensive. The Kakovka Dam, a vital energy facility, now faces severe damage, impacting millions of people. NATO Secretary General Jens Stoltenberg condemns the destruction, highlighting the risks posed to civilians and the environment. This act of aggression demonstrates the brutality of Russia's war in Ukraine. The International Atomic Energy Agency, or IAEA, assures that there is no immediate nuclear safety risk at the Zaporizhia nuclear power plant. However, the situation is being closely monitored to ensure the safety of the facility. Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky blames Russian terrorists for the explosion, while Russian-appointed Mayor Vladimir Leontiev claims Ukrainian forces shelled the dam. The war of words continues. EU Council President Charles Michel holds Moscow responsible, labeling the dam breach as a war crime. The international community calls for accountability. Stay tuned for more updates on this developing story. Like and subscribe for the latest news. Let's hope for a swift resolution to the crisis.